If you've thought about adding a digital microscope to your tool arsenal, then stick around because today we are going to talk about just such a thing. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick little review on this digital microscope that a company called Joya Lens reached out to me and asked if I would do a review on this. So since I've actually, you've probably already seen, if you've watched some of the laser videos, you've seen that I've done a, uh, I've utilized a microscope before. So since I knew that it would be something that many of my viewers and I myself actually utilize, I agreed to do this review. So they sent this to me at no cost. And again, as always, it's not going to impact my review on the unit. But like I said, we're going to do a quick review. Uh, this is your little introduction. We're going to go in and talk about some of the features of this microscope. We'll do a quick little demonstration and then we'll wrap up with pros, cons, and my final review. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right. Now, first, some of the features of this microscope. You've got video resolution up to 2080, 880 by 2160 at 24 frames per, per second, or you can do, do full HD at 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 at 120 frames per second. It records in the MP4 video frame rate. It includes three different lenses. So it says lens A is 18 to 720 times, lens D is 18 to 2040 times, and lens L is 60 to 240 times. And they kind of caveat that depending on how what size monitor you have it connected to. I wouldn't get too wrapped around the handle on specific, you know, times magnification you do have the micro st sd card slot it will output hdmi video and there is a software that you can download for this that to do measurements which i find quite intriguing although we're not going to go into that today so what you see before you is the basic setup here now right now on the screen and i apologize if i'm wiggling it around a lot um, there are some included slides, all sorts of interesting things. So this could be good for education, but we're going to focus on some other things more specifically. But in the box, you're going to get the uh, microso microscope itself. You've got the three different lenses I talked about. You've got this metal. It's all metal base. And if you're using slides, you have this little slide viewer that has a light in the bottom. Or if you don't want to use that... If you're not using slides and you're doing something else, which is mostly the type of work that I do, then you can plug in these lights here to light up your work area. So you're, you've got that. It does come with a, a remote control as well. You've got your HDMI cable included. You've got a little bug jar here if you want that. You've got those sets of slides. You've got even some extra screws, which is great. Some tweezers, some springs and clamps to hold down things. And then these extra slides. You do have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and it does come with the power adapter, which I always love to see. It drives me crazy that companies don't include USB adapters. I get it if you've been buying the same phone year after year after year and you're you know you can accumulate a drawer full of chargers so i can understand a phone company you know taking that out of the box when they think that you've got a bunch of them but i can't tell you how many usb powered devices that i have bought and they just assume that i have a power adapter and i'm i've run out of all the extras so you know it's nice to see a company that's including all of that so you've got all of those features so now let's take a look at how this thing works let's take a look at some of the things that you can do with this unit so the operation is super simple it comes with this little remote this allows you to uh, turn on the unit so it's going to control the lights you've got the ability to increase the brightness from the remote and it automatically turns on uh, the display so I have installed the L lens, and you can see the working distance here between the two. This is going to be great, especially if you do any kind of electronics work. But you've got these adjustable lights so that you can take a look at what you're working on. So as you know, I primarily started this as a laser channel. This is great if you have, if you're doing test cards and you want to see just exactly what you're getting at various, this is a card that I created. I was doing some business cards. 
And so it's actually LPI test card, right? So if I want to see what gives me the absolute best resolution on here, then I can throw this under the microscope and it's going to give me uh, the ability to take a look at that. Now, this unit here, let's see, I think I've got that in photo mode and video mode. So right now I'm recording and I, I will upload this video to the YouTube as part of this or I'll inset it so that you can get an idea of what exactly we are looking at. So that's just, you know, one thing here we have a uh, speed speed power so your typical test card and again you're going to be able to really get a good look at the various things things like you know again lpi if you've ever wondered the difference between you know here we have 100 lines per inch well you can see all the space here we have 200 lines per inches now you can see what that's doing this is 254 there you can see it's almost completely removed everything and there at 300 i can see there's almost no lines in between and then when you get to 400 it's actually kind of cleaning up more but it's leaving some spaces so anyway you know whether it's laser work that you're working on trying to get an idea of what's going on it could be 3d printing materials taking a look at your first layer adhesion or even electronics one of the things that a microscope like this is great for is earlier you heard me talk about this distance between the lens and the piece that you're working on a microscope like this that actually gives you the ability to get a tool especially if you're doing electronics work you know this is a, a from a hard drive and if you've ever worked with surface mount devices you know just how tiny those things are it's almost impossible to do any kind of repair work with the naked naked eye so having the ability whether it's repair work like that or just identifying components or taking a good look at a board and seeing if something is wrong, if you have a burnt trace, et cetera, a, a microscope like this is going to come in so handy. So just a quick little demo on some of the things that you can do with a, a microscope like this. All right, so let's uh, talk about some of the pros and cons of the Joya Lens JL246MS3 Lens 7-inch LCD HDMI additional microscope. I had to read that. So anyway, pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. Um, it includes everything, everything that you're going to need, um, and maybe even some things that you don't, but um, you're not going to open this box and then be like, boy, I wish they would have really included that. Having all three of those lenses, it's going to cover all of the focal ranges and everything that you need, the magnification levels uh, for anything that you've got going on. As mentioned many times, you've got plenty of workroom here. So if you are trying to do some hands-on stuff, this is great. You know, most, uh, I've had microscopes in the past and your traditional microscope, they all have that very short uh, working distance. And so they're not ideal for uh, anything or they're just hard to view, et cetera. So that's great. Um, and then the screen itself is really great. I, again, I've seen a lot of, you know, digital microscope products and they tout all this great uh, ability to, um, you know, have this zoom range, but the screen is so cheap that, you know, it's so pixelated that you really can't get any detail. So uh, cons, um, not many, not many at all. Really, the, uh, the manual itself, um, it is, there's a few places where it's a little hard to read. You know, it's kind of that translation thing. So I'm not going to berate that uh, too heavily, um, but... Uh, it's, it's not the worst I've seen. It, I mean, it's actually pretty good, but there are a few little uh, tweaks there. And then there are a few little rough edges, like this little spot uh, right here on this light is, yeah, I'm a little afraid. Uh, the, the metal's just kind of sharp. But anyway, um, other than that, super happy with this um, unit. There's really not a lot that I could, I could want. They've, like I said, they've included everything. Now, it's not an inexpensive product. Uh, currently on Amazon, this is $139. But remember, time is money. So when it comes to tools, investing in a tool that's going to save you money in the long run is money well spent. Um, so for example, you know, I talked about LPI. I showed you these cards. If you're doing laser engraving like I'm always doing, and you go online and somebody says, well, I engrave, you know, these metal business cards at 800 uh, DPI because I get such a great, you know, result. Well, 
you can test this kind of stuff out and you can find out that you know what uh 800 is takes it's you know two or three times longer to engrave than if i engraved it at 254 or 300 or 400 whatever the case may be um and you can get a really good look at the results that you're getting uh and that's going to you know you're not going to waste time doing that things like uh scan offset when you have a tool like this you can see exactly how you know when that laser is coming on turning off anyway so time is money invest tools wisely so let's wrap this up um, overall, I'm going to give this four and a half out of five stars. So almost a perfect product. Uh, we haven't seen a perfect five star product yet here at directed tech, but again, very minor, minor, minor gripes, but, uh, super happy with the, this digital microscope. So four and a half stars out of a possible of five. So as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing here on the channel, please take a, a moment to, uh, hit the little, uh, thumbs up. Give me a like that helps the algorithm hit the little notification bell. That'll let you know next time I drop some content if you have hit the subscribe button, which I really hope you would take time to do. Um, I'm always trying to bring you information that will help you um, as we learn and burn together. But before I go, the folks there at Joy Lens also sent me this. This is a kid's... Let me look, look at the description here. This is a digital microscope and telescope for kids so it is pink but it's got a microscope function and a telescope function um it's rechargeable you turn it on and you uh let's see there's the power button it says welcome and everything and then you can either do the uh, microscope or telescope function so if you've got a wee little one who might enjoy this i'm going to be giving this away so, um, unfortunately, it's very expensive to ship out of the country. So if you are in USA or Canada, what I would like you to do is you need to be subscribed to the channel and then just drop a comment below. Say, uh, my kid would love that. And then they'll have something to do while you are busy in the shop or you can have them help you out. Uh, it does come with the USB cable, comes with a little pink strap to go around the neck and then Outlook. They've included an 8 gig USB card in there to record your adventures, as well as a little tripod. So, again, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below that uh, you would be somebody who would love this little item. And I will randomly select from those that have left comments and have subscribed to the channel. And then I will send this out to you so you're, that your little one can enjoy it. So that's all for today. Thanks again for sticking with me, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.